Milton Bradley was an American game pioneer, credited by many with launching the board game industry in North America with Milton Bradley Company. In 2004, he was posthumously inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame along with George Ditto Massey of Milton Bradley Company. Through the 20th century the company he founded in 1860, Milton Bradley Company dominated the production of American games with titles like Candyland, Operation, and Battleship. The company is now a subsidiary of Portucket, Rhode Island-based Hasbro. Biography Born in Vienna, Maine in 1836, Bradley grew up in a working-class household in Lowell, Massachusetts after the family moved there in 1847. After completing high school in 1854 he found work as a draftsman and patent agent before enrolling at the Lawrence Scientific School in Cambridge, Massachusetts. He was unable to finish his studies after moving with his family to Hartford, Connecticut, where he could not find gainful employment. In 1856, he left home and got a job in the locomotive works of the Blanchard in Kimball in Springfield, Massachusetts. After the company was shuttered during the recession of 1858, he entered business for himself as a mechanical draftsman and patent agent. In 1859, Bradley went to Providence, Rhode Island to learn lithography and in 1860, he set up the first color lithography shop in Springfield, Massachusetts. He moved forward with an idea he had for a board game which he called the Checkered Game of Life an early version of what later became the Game of Life, the Checkered Game of Life, the launch of the Milton Bradley Company. Bradley's ventures into the production of board games began with a large failure in his lithograph business, when he printed and sold an image of the little-known Republican presidential nominee Abraham Lincoln. Bradley initially met with great success but a customer demanded his money back because the picture was not an accurate representation. Lincoln had decided to grow his distinctive beard after Bradley's print was published. Suddenly, the prints were worthless, and Bradley burned those remaining in his possession. Looking for a lucrative alternate project, Bradley found inspiration from an imported board game a friend gave him concluding that he could produce and market a similar game to American consumers. In the winter of 1860, Bradley released the checkered game of life. The game proved an instant success. Bradley personally sold his first run of several hundred copies in a two-day visit to New York. By 1861, consumers had bought a more than 45,000 copies. The checkered game of life followed a structure similar to its American and British predecessors, with players spinning a teetotum to advance to squares representing social virtues and vices, such as influence or poverty, with the former earning a player points and the latter retarding his progress. But even the most seemingly secure positions, like fat office, held dangers, prison, ruin, and suicide. The first player to accumulate 100 points won the game. While the structure of play in the checkered game of life differed little from previous board games, Bradley's game embraced a radically different concept of success. Earlier games, such as the popular Mansion of Happiness created in Puritan, Massachusetts, focused entirely on promoting moral virtue. Bradley defined success in secular business terms, depicting life as a quest for accomplishment with personal virtues as a means to that end. This complemented America's burgeoning fascination with obtaining wealth, and with the causal relationship between character and wealth. In the years following the Civil War, the game, and later board games produced by the Milton Bradley Company, also fit the nation's increasing amount of leisure time, leading to great financial success for the company. Final Years Bradley published tracts and pamphlets on Froebel's kindergarten system. His company produced two magazines, Kindergarten News and Work and Play. Neither was profitable, and Bradley's business partners withdrew their support, but Bradley persevered, publishing both magazines until the end of his life. His friend George Tapley bought out the partner's shares so that Bradley could continue manufacturing educational materials.
By the 1890s, the Milton Bradley Company had introduced the first standardized watercolor sets and educational games such as Bradley's Word Builder and Bradley's Sentence Builder. Bradley was also the first to release crayon packages with standardized colors. A forerunner of the Binney and Smith Company's Crayola Crayons and Artista Art Supplies, Bradley's interest in art education also led him to produce a new color wheel and publish four books about teaching colors. Personal life. In 1860, Bradley married Villona Eaton. They had no children and she died in 1860. In 1869, he married his second wife, Ellen Thayer, with whom he had two daughters, Alice and Florence. Milton Bradley died on May 30, 1911 in Springfield, Massachusetts, aged 74. Books and Patents. Books Color in the Schoolroom, 1890. Color in the Kindergarten, 1893. Elementary Color, 1895. Watercolors in the Schoolroom, 1900. Bradley published a set of rules to play croquet in 1866 written by an author using the pseudonym Professor A. Rover. Patents and Inventions A U.S. Patent 53561A Milton Bradley Social Game Published 3 April 1866 a U.S. Patent 416437A, Milton Bradley, Drawing Board, published 3 December 1889. A U.S. Patent 537887A, Milton Bradley, Color Mixing Top, published 23 April 1895. A U.S. Patent 310873A, Milton Bradley, Toy Spring Guns, published 20 January 1885. A U.S. Patent 492604A, Milton Bradley, Color Disc Rotating Mechanism, published 28 February 1893. A U.S. Patent 524160A, Milton Bradley, Compasses, published 7 August 1894. A U.S. Patent 215205A, Milton Bradley, Improvement in Paper Cutting Machines, published 13 May 1879. A U.S. Patent 225457A, Milton Bradley, Process of Engraving Printing Surfaces, published 16 March 1880. A U.S. Patent 418437A, Milton Bradley, Kindergarten Table, published 31 December 1889, invented the Myriopticon Panorama Viewer for Soldiers in the American Civil War.